dystopia. Hi, it's Crystal. So I'm just here to welcome you. Welcome to the channel. Uh, this is Dredging Through Dystopia. Uh, this is a multi-platform experience. You are here on the YouTube channel, but we also have a podcast and an Instagram and a prototype for a potential web app. So YouTube, we're going to focus primarily on video games, dystopian themed video games. We're going to analyze the stories. We're going to do game review. We're going to have gameplay clips. Um, basically all those kinds of things. But we're also going to let you know what's going on on those other channels in case you're interested. Um, so that's, that's how it's going to be. Our main focus is usually on the analysis of these stories just because dystopian literature is so powerful. Um, using a dystopia in the writing is like a really, really powerful tool. That's why people use dystopias. Um, Writing in a dystopia allows you to make a statement, it allows you to show your audience things that you maybe see in the real world, things that you want to call out, and things you want to address, draw attention to, um, and that's why some of these dystopias hit us so hard. So uh, some dystopian games we may cover, uh, of course, Cyberpunk because that's, I mean, it's a really big one and it's a super dystopian world with, it's a corporate dystopia. Um, so we've definitely got some content for cyberpunk coming, but some other options, I mean, we could delve into the world of Fallout. There's several iterations of Fallout. We could be trying to survive a nuclear apocalypse. That's pretty dystopian. Um, there's also like Bioshock, especially Bioshock Infinite is pretty dystopian like there's a really great story going on there uh if you haven't played it i highly recommend it they've got all kinds of things going on and at first it at first it feels very utopian which honestly is a super common trope with dystopias is like at first you think oh it's paradise this is utopia and then they draw the curtain back and you see, oh my gosh, there's a lot more going on. Um, so that's the kind of stuff we're looking at is like those kinds of things and like what these stories have to say to us about the real world. Like, for example, cyberpunk, it's very corporate dystopia. Um, the companies have way too much power. They're running too many things. Well, that's certainly something we can make a statement about the real world. Like, let's let's take a look around our capitalist setup. Capitalism isn't all bad. There are good things, but there's definitely some problems, especially with a high level of unchecked capitalism. Um, like, don't get me started on our healthcare system and insurance and how broken that system is, you know, and it's all because it's been monetized and unchecked. Like, they shouldn't be allowed to do those things. Like, okay, so... Think about our huge corporations and Google and um, Facebook and Apple and, you know, they're huge. They have a ton of power in the world. Tons of it. Everybody uses them to, too, so, like, they, they maintain their power. Like, all the stuff that's happened with Facebook recently, and uh, guess what? They're still going. They're still in business. So these are the types of things that we'll talk about, like we'll enter into a story and we'll dig it apart and we'll see what types of conversations it stirs. And it's always going to be something a little deeper and something a little, a little close to home, right? But that's, that's the point of engaging with literature. It, it makes you think and that's powerful and then it makes a statement and that's powerful and it sparks conversation, which is the first step to sparking change. Um, so yeah, anyway, that's a really long-winded way to explain what's going to be happening here and just sort of let you know what you're signing up for if you join us for this long ride. Um, stay tuned. You can find out 
what's happening on the podcast. You can hear a video version of the podcast if that's more your thing rather than only audio. Uh, We'll be posting episodes here. Uh, We'll be doing game analysis. We'll be doing play with me so that you can just watch straight gameplay if analyzing it isn't your thing, even though I think that's the best part. Um, We'll have you know, just all kinds of content coming. So just stay tuned and we'll see you around the channel.